Hey, thanks for watching Four Color Commentary. I'm Mark Allen, and uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different, standing a little bit further back from the camera, uh, because I'm not showing comics. Uh, I want to talk about something, another type of collectible that has uh, had hills and valleys, mountaintops and valleys, that kind of thing. Uh, it has been very popular and gone down and been popular again. It will be popular again. Right now, it's this, this particular collectible, type of collectible, is down a bit, unless you have something very, very, very rare. But I got the idea from a 1986 trade magazine I was reading about comics. And I'm not going to give too much away about that because I want to talk. It was within an article about the collectability of comics. And it was predicting the future of comics in a, in a sense. And that's I think it's going to make for an interesting uh, examination uh, some, from 1986 trying to predict the future of comics and see how some things were right, were, were, were correct, and some things were way off. But anyway... In that article, it talked about things to uh, invest in or to, if you're going to speculate or invest in comics, things that are a good are a good bet. I believe this, but I want to be very careful to say I don't believe in comics as an investment first, uh, unless you're talking about some very rare issues. Uh, action number one, of course. Um, first appearance of Superman, first appearance of Batman, Spider-Man, Amazing, Amazing Fantasy number 15. Uh, Detective Comics 27, you, when you're talking about books like that, even Spider-Man 1, Batman 1, Superman 1, that kind of thing, Wiz Comics, uh, which one was it? Was it number one that uh, Captain Marvel first appeared in? I don't remember. But um, the point being that comics are first and foremost for enjoyment. And what I'm going to show you is enjoyable because it's something that can be part of your comic book decor. But I'm talking about promotional materials, primarily posters. And there's been times whenever I've um, I have a big old, I have a big box of just promotional material, mostly posters, and um, it's uh, something I've been I've been enjoying posters for a long time. I'll put I'll, I'll I will rotate uh, you know various posters on my walls. Oftentimes I haven't done that in a couple of years, but I have done it often in the past few years. But I want to just show you some uh, some pro promotional material I've gathered over the years. That, uh, again, I, I, some of the stuff I have has been hot at one point, but I didn't want to get rid of it at the time. And now it cools off, but it, it will be hot again, I really believe. Um, I'm going to be very choosy about what I show you here for this, for this video. I will show you that. I guess I will show you these. Uh, a couple of um, backdrops for displays uh, several years ago, back, or, my goodness, 2000 or in that, in that area. Uh, DC published some treasury size. Uh, sized uh, uh, books with uh, starring Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and uh, Shazam, Captain Marvel, and um, they were they were illustrated by Alex Ross. Some of you may remember these. Uh, again, they were the big treasury sized, but uh, these backdrops are uh, collectibles I've had for years. There's the Batman, uh, Paul Paul Denny, written all of them were written by Paul Denny, Paul Denny and Alex Ross. Batman, War on Crime. Paul Denny, Alex Ross, uh, Shazam, Power of Hope. Okay, so wonderful Alex Ross illustrations on those, and um, lots of fun. Now, this next one is one I probably have shown before, but uh, I'm going to show this time because one side appeared on a uh, on the cover of a of a Superman comic. Uh, however, the other never appeared on a comic. And this, I'm going to show you. I don't remember the issue, but this was during. Uh, I don't remember the issue number, but this was during the Zero Hour event. Uh, back in 1994, so we're going back a ways here, uh, but this is the cover of a Superman comic at the time where you saw the Batman of many different eras uh, look, you know, surrounding Superman there. That was a, a very fun issue, and Batman basically, while he's talking to Superman, is, uh, you know, he's phasing, different Batman are phasing in and out, and it's just very cool. You actually have, in one, in one case, you have uh, the Frank Miller Dark Knight face-to-face uh, -face with the with Bob Kane and Bill Finger's Batman. So uh, anyway, and then but the, but on the other side is what's very cool because this image did not appear on a cover. It's the same cover only with with Batman surrounded by many different versions of Superman. As far as I know, this is the only place, the only way you can get this image is with this poster. And one of these days I'm going to get I'm going to get uh, a couple of poster uh, poster frames, put the two uh, the two clear mylar plates together, and just put the you know, frame on it and just hang it somehow, okay, so that both are are, are uh, visible. But anyway, just a very cool piece, 
and uh, I have seen that one also. Right, like I say, I, I don't I don't look to get rid of my my promotional posters, but uh, my promotional material for the most part. But uh, so I don't know what they're doing right now, but I know that uh, they uh, are collectible to a lot of people. Um, here's one that is a very unusual poster. This was back when in, during the days of uh, the early days of the Fox Network, and um, uh, I could get a date if I wanted to strain my eyes, but I'm not going to worry about that. Back in the 90s, when Generation X had a live television movie, uh, Generation X, the mutants, the Marvel mutants, the uh, the second group of new mutants, if you will, in that sense. But uh, here's the uh, here's the poster, the Generation X poster. It was done. It, it was also advertising Sega games and and such as that. But uh, just a very cool. This one I have seen also in the past go for quite a few dollars because. Again, pretty rare. The TV, the TV movie, I don't think was that. I'm not even sure you can find it on DVD, but um, you probably can find bootleg copies out there. But the poster is very rare and just kind of a cool, cool piece to have. Okay, so there's that. Um, but you know, again, when we're talking about when we're talking about promotional uh, products, we're talking about something that is, is rare. Sometimes promotional posters have have. Um, uh, individual art on them i mean uh exclusive art on them the art is done just for the poster that that really makes a poster in my mind collectible if you have a, a promotional poster that is not just a uh, not just a copy a large blown up copy of a comic book cover which is cool but if you have that if you have one of those hold on to it no matter how it's doing right now hold on to it because that is a piece of original art uh not in the sense of that it was done on a you know the, the, the right off the artist's table but you know what i mean it's an art that did not appear on a comic. All right. And the point being that promotional posters have a much uh, smaller print run. Okay. Uh, 70 years of Marvel Comics from a few years ago. Just some great classic uh, Marvel covers on there. All uh, going, well, timely and Marvel covers. And so a uh, great piece there. And, and of course, it's, a talk, it's an anniversary type, um, type ob uh, collectible. And so fun to have. And uh, again, if only I had more wall space. But uh, one of these days, who knows, one of these days perhaps uh, I'll have enough space for some of my favorites out of here. Now, here's a danger of these is you have to be very careful <laughs> folding them back uh, so that you don't mess anything up. Um, okay. Uh, I didn't prepare this in advance. This was a... This was a uh, didn't didn't pull out the best of or anything. What I thought I'd do is just pull it out fresh and pull out what was on top, and may and probably will revisit this in future in future uh, videos just to give you an idea of what promotional material is out there. All right, here's one called here's one uh, promotional poster for the Vertigo series Outlaw Nation. I know nothing about it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what uh, how long the series went or if it was a special or what, but you know Vertigo always turned out great books with great art, and so Outlaw Nation right there, okay, large poster, and, uh, and you know take would take up a lot of wall space, and uh, be very imp a very impressive piece on the wall framed. Um, let's see here, here's one that this book I always thought had beautiful gorgeous art. And I've never bought a single issue of the book. No, I take that back. I did buy one, edition, one issue of the book. But I kept this um, More Than Mortal art because, uh, or this poster because it was just so gorgeous. I'm trying to look for an artist's name. Uh, Steve Furchow, 1997. Uh, really enjoyed this art. Uh, just very, and again, I can't even tell you the, uh, the main character's name. More Than Mortal it was a, it did have a, a, a the main protagonist was a woman warrior a female warrior a gorgeous art i've kept that all through these years just because it was just so beautiful and um you know again i don't know if it's doing anything right now i just know from time to time uh promotional materials do uh do uh end up being kind of popular with uh, comic book fans okay here's one I saw Penny Penny Farthing Press on here. Okay, okay, this is the Victorian promo poster. The only Victorian promo poster I've ever seen. A Penny Farthing Press. Uh, Victorian was a was a uh, 
series that a lot of people really, really liked. They enjoyed it. I never could actually get into it myself. I've read a couple of issues, didn't appeal to me, but that's why, uh, as I want to say, that is why they make chocolate and vanilla, okay? Um, all right, next here, what do we got? This one's, this one goes back a little ways. This one's a little bit of a throwback. We're almost to the 80s with this one. It's 1993. This is just a, a general uh, Marvel promotional poster by uh, one of my favorite artists, Alan Davis. And there you go. You have Spider-Man and the Hulk, She-Hulk, Captain America, and Wolverine. Marvel Comics on sale here. That one's just, uh, I love it. I love that. I love that art. Uh, they capture Alan Davis, one of those great comic book artists. I like, to, I like his work. And um, he captures the, the characters well. Uh, okay, not comic related, but from 1994 90, or 94, 95, I say that, you'll see why I say that in a minute. But I got it because it is a, I don't remember her last name, but Julie, first name is Julie. She does a lot of fantasy art. This is doubled, a double dragon poster by her. Uh, from Actually, the, the art is dated 1993 in her signature. So a very cool double dragon poster. I wish I could remember her last name, but on, on the back is a 1994-95 NFL schedule. So I'm not sure if this came from a gamer magazine or a sports magazine, but uh, I, I got it out of my LCS owner's uh, poster box years and years ago when he was selling them for like 50 cents. And um, in, in, I got to hand it to him. It, it, they only in, in all the years I was pulling posters out of that box, which was probably close to 20 years, they only went from 50 cents to a dollar in all that time. So, and they, I'm pretty sure he put them to a dollar because the promo, promo posters were getting ready to, or were starting to be big. All right, this one I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to show all of it, but this is the Superman wedding album poster from October of 1996. No, I'm not going to be able to show all of it, and getting it folded is going to be fun. But there's a there's Superman and Lois on top of the cake. You get an idea. The rest of it is just kind of done like a uh, like an invitation, but uh, like a wedding invitation. But very cool. Very cool to have. This, I really don't know what I'll do with. I don't anticipate ever putting this one on a wall, but uh, I do anticipate it being a, you know, a collectible and uh, for somebody sometime, somewhere. Okay. Again, you know what, what do comic collectors do? We, 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 we collect stuff, and it's not just comics in general. Um, okay, this is one that goes quite a ways back. Um, this is one of the first posters, one of the first promo posters I ever put up on my wall. This is a milestone poster, and it's uh, actually dated 1994. This one was on my wall uh, at one time when I was going to college, but uh, still very well preserved. This is a Bilson Cabbage poster with a bunch of milestone characters on it this i have also seen especially when they were trying to revive milestone a year or so ago i've seen this go for a uh, uh, pretty respectable money on ebay okay the problem with posters as you probably know if they're folded which of course i mean i think 90 percent of all promo posters are if they're folded you're going to have a difficult time um keeping them from forming holes where the folds meet if that makes sense. I'm trying to, uh, okay, here. See, and, and again, got it always important to remember how they, <laughs> how they came, how they folded. I'm not doing a very good job remembering that. If this was radio, I'd be killing myself right now with the dead air. Hmm. Did not anticipate this. Here we go. There we go. Somebody out there is going, you're killing the poster. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? I'm going to carefully lay this over here. And I will figure that out when I'm done with the video. Okay. All right. Uh, not so, not as much of a, um, not, as, not quite as exciting, but uh, a very kind of a cool Wizard 100, 100th issue poster that has every cover of Wizard Magazine to 100. And, uh, that was that was cool. Pick that up. A <clears throat> um, couple more here before we finish up for this video. Um, here's one. When the second wave of Dark Knights or Marvel Knights, Dark Knights, Marvel Knights was was getting started. The second wave 
um, two th the year 2000. Fantastic uh, Joe Quesada cover on this uh, on this poster. And here we go. You got Daredevil. You got the Punisher. You got Shang Chi. And you got uh, cloak, cloak and Dagger, or at least cloak Dagger. Uh, from this angle, I don't can't see if cloaks on there or not, but daggers there and you got the black widow so uh, great stuff and uh, No, I don't see cloak on there see through it um, So very cool uh, Quesada cover There all right Let's uh, let's see Let's do one more And this is one that I have to that this is what this is a character that had a short but intense uh, period of popularity. I never read a single one, but but I liked the uh, I very much liked the uh, the poster, and so I went ahead and got it. And uh, this is Frey. I believe Frey was a was a vampire hunter. I'm not sure about that, but I believe that was that was the case. But I could be totally totally off base on that. It's a pretty good good sized poster, but it does have a flip side. And on the other side is a. Uh, character is the character angel okay and so there you go don't know anything about that character but uh, very cool looking fray poster and that's it uh, I just wanted to share those with you I will revisit this again what I'll do is I'll put the posters I've already shown in a separate separate place and then I'll we'll start fresh next time but uh, promotional posters if you can find them cheap uh, they're not hard to store they're not hard, difficult to, they don't take up a lot of space I would encourage you to find some and uh, and and put them together uh, or put, put start start putting a collection together just so you have that one other thing that uh, sooner or later again someone's gonna you're gonna have a promotional poster that somebody wants badly and I have in the past um, Sold promotional posters, the odd promotional poster for upwards to $30, $40, even $50 for a single poster. So anyway, just kind of a cool collectible idea. They're very cheap to get in most cases. And, uh, you know, you can always just store them and you can or you put them on your wall and enjoy them uh, or whatever you want to do. You can even try to, I've heard of people trying to, instead of refolding them, roll them. But that seems like a risky venture to me. But anyway, just wanted to share that with you. And uh, hey, listen, if you like the video... I mean, if you like what you saw, go ahead and like the video. Hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. If you haven't subscribed, certainly do that. Pre appreciate my subscribers. And, uh, and anyway, just uh, glad that you're here. And uh, by the way, if you are a law enforcement officer, uh, all the best to you. I love you, praying for you. And uh, just saying, be careful out there. Uh, we're for you. Most of America is for you, I believe. But anyway, that's it. Um, I'm Mark Allen with Four Color Commentary. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.